Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to show you probably, um, or that I know of, the smallest self-generating patch in Bitwig Studio in the grid. It's pretty easy to set up. You only need a filter. Um, I'm going here for band pass, of course. Double click on it, so we are at C3. We increase here the resonance a bit, so we can excite the filter. Hook it up to the output, of course. And don't forget, click on the grid itself here, switch it to mono mode, so we have a self-running pitch or at, le at least one voice active. So now we need something to excite the filter here, and we're going for a trigger, or triggers, which just outputs, you know, gate signals um, that look like this just on and off, right, switches between 0, 1, 1, 0, and so on. You can use this as an audio input. It's not made for audio, right? So, but you can use this to excite the, the filter here. And when you increase the resonance, you get a tonal sound exactly at the uh, 262 hertz, which is C3 in Bitwig Studio. So now we need something to change the notes here or the, the frequency, right? So we can do this by using feedback and feedback is only possible in Bitwig Studio by using a long delay. And I'm using it here at a delay unit of 16 notes and four, four 16 notes. And we can go back into the filter itself. We dial down here um, the pre-chord for the key input. We because we don't need that and also we don't want to influence the patch with maybe the keyboard accidentally. So I'm using this feedback loop here and then we can increase here of course the modulation. So we modulate the filter position here with the input and you can hear this kind of wet sound because we have a lot of noise coming back in here and um, all we need to do now is to sample and hold this noise coming back. We do this by using, of course, sample and hold. And we sample the noise coming back with the signal going in. Now, we, if we increase this, now we have kind of this sound. We have so you can hear all, all sounds kind of doubled. Um, and that's because we have this long gate signal which switches between 0 and 1, which is a trigger, and 1 and 0 is also a trigger. So we can do this by using it the gate length maybe here, make the gate pretty short, maybe 1 millisecond. But as you can hear, it generates notes. And for me, this is the smallest self-running patch that you can use in Bitwig Studio. And not only that, because everything you change now in this patch influences all the other parts. So when you increase the resonance, you make longer sounds, which means you change the noise. And the noise changes with kind of which kind of notes you play in the beginning. These notes then decide what noise goes out and then it changes basically back what kind of notes you play. So it's a feedback loop and everything in this loop changes everything. So also how many notes you play. You can hear when I create high resonance I get really weird, weird high pitched noises. So here is the kind of a sweet spot, 100%. So to make this a bit more audible or a bit more useful, of course, but I want to show you this. This is basically a self-running patch in itself and uh, it's pretty easy to set up and fun to use. But you can make this even better, right? So it's not, it's not the end. Um, so what we can do is at first we can shape the gate signal here again. So we have like these pretty short gate signals. But you can use a slope and 
can almost create some kind of envelope here. The attack and decay phase just by using the slope here. So it's a bit more smoothed out. So this is something we can do. Um, then we can use, of course, a quantizer here. Before we go into... Or maybe we use the quantizer here after the sample and hold. So we can see what kind of notes we play. So now we have a scale, basically. Then we can use the output of the sample and hold here with the modulator output. And we can modulate here how many triggers we send in. But always remember, when you change basically here the notes, how many triggers you send in, you also send out what kind of noise goes out. And then the noise deci decides which notes to play and then the notes, you know. So everything is dependent on each other. That's the important part. So everything you change everywhere changes everything uh, related to it. So now we have like kind of this sound and it's probably in a scale. So we have here 100%, we maybe can also use this here to slightly change the resonance here also with it. Maybe we use here some reverb. So everything here in the FX box is not, is, doesn't influence the feedback loop, of course. Maybe delay. So we have here triggers, maybe we can use also clock quantize. And we don't need uh, modulation here. Oh, it's a clock divide, we need uh, clock quantize, sorry. So it's not that much bigger, right? But it's more useful because now we have some kind of scale. And it sounds beautiful, kind of. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, something I want to show you. A uh, small little self running patch you can uh, utilize and maybe experiment with it. Create some interesting things here. Maybe you can hook up something here after the SVF before you go into the long delay. So you can influence the sound even more. Maybe distortion or, you know, some delay effects. Um, to create a longer feedback loop and much more uh, complexity. So it's um, something nice to experiment with. Okay, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.